The Mists of Many Voices by Jonathan M. Vick In the autumn of his years, the green man stirred. His heavy red beard and curly russet hair burned in the moonlight. His face was gnarled and withered, buds yellowing in his hair, his mouth cracked and dry. All around was darkness, but for the bloom of ghastly light casting shadows down his face, a damp, dank fog framing everything beyond. The gods have forgotten their own names, the green man growled, his voice like a mountain ripping holes in the sky, like an avalanche in a canyon, like stone against gravel. They've lost their way, renounced their power, forgotten they are gods, and all of us have been shoved out. There were murmurs in the darkness, voices in the fog agreeing, confirming, lamenting. The lightning flashed and faces huddled around the table could be seen, strange creatures of impossible design looming in the darkness. The fantasia and phantasm of infinite dreams on boundless terrains in eternal quests. Beasts and demons and monsters and maidens, ogres and werewolves and troglodytes. This is where new gods are born, rumbled the green man. His words echoed through their heads like original thoughts, like sparks of genius, like truth. This is how we change the world. The lightning broke again and shattered over the tabletop. It sparked and sparkled and spread until the table became a terrain of firelights, rivers of crackling, buzzing voltage. Stone made of stars, a billion pinprick fires. One by one, the lights went out, extinguished by their own indifference. Left behind was a cold, metallic, pulsating darkness, until the clearing was bathed in infinite obscurity. Cool, said a one-eyed owl, perched on an oak branch at the farthest end of the table. That totally gave me goosebumps. Do you guys have goosebumps? I'm covered in them. That was very impressive. I can see why he's the leader. I have a question. A feeble, bug-eyed imp wearing gray tatters and greasy spectacles raised his hand. How is any of this helping us? Our homes are being swallowed up by this mist of many voices, and your solution is rhetoric? We are being shoved out, to be sure, but who is doing the shoving? I'd like to know. The green man sighed, and the rain suddenly poured. Not a violent, angry rain, but the rain of defeat and sadness. Silence swallowed the table, just the soft dripping of the rain on the leaves, the ruffle and rustle of bark and flesh and feathers and fur, just the thunder, the wind and the whisper of forgotten worlds. The green man leaned forward into the light, his gnarled, clubbed hands spreading on the table, his flaming red beard illuminating the horde, and he looked up at them, the millions upon millions of impossible shapes, drenched in the rains of his sadness. He drew the fog into his lungs and let it trail out of his nostrils before exhaling the name of their villain, the probable catalyst to their catastrophe. More he said, letting the name ooze from his cracked lips like bile and vomit, the word itself smelling of filth and decay. Margaret the Beastly, whispered the imp, and his dread echoed through the horde, each shushing the incantation that murmured under their breath. I thought she was banished, offered a spry two-tongued gorgon. I thought she was dead, replied a satyr. I thought she was a myth, said a buck-beaked griffin as he preened mites from his feathery chest. We're all myths, you moron, said the satyr. Yeah, but I thought she was an imaginary myth, said the griffin. Morgrid has discovered a weapon, an infection, a pandemic that will erase us all forever, the green man warned. We will cease to exist in any form, in any world, in any memory. She has already unleashed the virus, 
as many of you have witnessed, it is already eating airsats, and there is no way to prevent it from spreading. We are being shoved out, eaten alive, buried in the irrelevance of unexamined, archaic, and mnemonic archaeology. The rain slowed, drizzled, sputtered, and stopped. The creatures sat dripping with paralyzed forebodings. Finally, the imp raised his spectacled head. What is this infection? he asked. And some bastard leviathan, some wheezing, panting churl, cowering in the shadows, coughed, <coughs> spreading his own viral infection over the glade. Panic ran through the masses. As the melodrama reached its peak, the green man pounded the table, and thunder struck along the horizon, silencing every dissonant sound. The green man spoke again. The infection, he simply replied, is ignorance. The creatures fell silent again, nodding knowingly to one another as if the answer made sense, each fearing they had already been infected and warranted a forced quarantine. How do you know all this? asked Hallowintar the Grimlikin. It is written, the green man said with great reverence, in a prophecy. A groan rolled over the horde. What? asked the green man. A prophecy? complained a decommissioned god with a jackal head, human body, and cloven hooves. Seriously? All you can offer us is a prophecy? What's wrong with prophecies? asked the one-eyed owl. They're deceptive, growled a snowy wolf. They never mean what you think they mean, answered a decapitated ghost, holding his ethereal head in his ephemeral lap. The wicked ones are self-fulfilling and the good ones are laden with burdens and curses. So all we can do is wait, shouted a plump Valkyrie, shaking a severed limb on her bloody pike. What can we do, Nicodemus? A frost giant asked the green man. My legions are at your command. You will have your battles, Valkyrie, as will we all, the green man calmly answered. But for now, we can only wait and put our trust in an old man who never lived, a middle-aged man who doesn't know he's alive, and a young man who doesn't know he's dead. I have summoned the Treacherous Triad. That's the Treacherous Triad? shrieked a banshee in the back. The green man shook his great head, and a few red hairs of his beard turned brown and fluttered like leaves to the table. He knew time was short, and he knew the stakes were high. Thank you for listening. This is Angelique Kate. To continue the adventure, read Jonathan M. Vick's The Mists of Many Voices, available in paperback and ebook from Amazon.com or ask your local independent bookseller.